Hello. Today I came up with this bright idea. When I was watching AMLO's um, tweets, I saw some videos that I haven't seen anywhere else, and I don't think you can find them anywhere else. And I know a lot of people don't tweet. So I went ahead and um, decided to make a video about AMLO's tweets. And let's see how you guys like this, okay? So today he was in San Bernardo in the municipality of Los Alamos. Oh, look, guess what? It translates. Today we were in San Bernardo in the municipality of Alamos, Sonora. We met with Guarijos, Guarijos, one of the poorest and most forgotten indigenous people in Mexico. We are already supporting them and they will have greater respect for their culture and more attention and benefits. Wow, how cool is that? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the video. It looks like they have shells on their feet, on the, like, like boots made out of shells, but with their feet bare. So they're standing there watching them. So see, this looks like the, um, they had a, a thing where they, they had a conference, like, like a conference, you know, where the president spoke today. And for some reason, uh, it's been doing that. But let's see if we can do that again. There we go. For some reason, it's giving us trouble. Okay. So anyway, uh, today they had that uh, situation. Let's see if I can lower the volume. Oh, where's the volume? Oh, there it is. It's kind of loud. I think it's, it's out louding me. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, the, this is where they had the, uh, the meeting today when he went to go see some of the indigenous people and they signed a treaty. Okay, so we'll go to the next one. I think that one's done. Well, goodness. Is that another one? No, it's the same one. Okay. So now we're going to the next one. There was two of them there. This is the other one. Okay. So let's see this one. We're in San Bernardo. No, this is the same one. I know there was other ones. They were pretty cool. Let me see. Oh. Oh, it's going through my tweets. I don't want that. Okay. We want to go through his. Okay. Oh, check this out. Let's see what this one's about. Oh, this was today regarding the dialogue they had with the uh, traditional um, uh, people. So we convened to start a new phase in order to make a reality justice. And we spoke about Porfiriato of when they made that great injustice, that infamy, where they started the war against the Yaquis during the Porfirio period in order to take away their land. They repressed the people for the, the Yaqui people. There was a war of extermination. And if that weren't enough, many of them got deported to the southeast to work as slaves. That was a moment, a time that is embarrassing. It embarrasses Mexico. It embarrasses all of us. At another moment, at another time, that's when the revolution came. And then a president that, that came, that was good, a patriot, that he restituted the, the lands to the people, the Yaquis. His name was Lázaro Cárdenas del Rio. 
That was another moment. Because during the revolution, many Yaquis participated. They were integrated in the re revolutionary troops. And they won. And some time had passed. And they still hadn't done justice. The presidents would come one after the other and no justice was made until Cárdenas came in 1934 to 1940. He restituted their lands. When there is justice for the agriculture, he, he gave 18 million uh, hectares, hectares to a million, I'm sorry, to a million families. And he also recovered the petroleum that Porfirio Diaz had given to the uh, foreigners. And he supported the workers. And he supported education. He was the creator of the Institute, the National Institute of Engineering. Well, that was the second phase. And the third phase is the one we're living now. And we want, all of us, to reivindicate the people of the Yaquis. And as a constitutional president um, to the King of Spain and to the Papa, Francisco, in order to so we could come to an agreement because in September of 2021 we are going to commemorate 200 years since the independence and the purpose is that at that date and time they can offer with humility a, to ask forgiveness to the original people that were victims of repression during the colonization and the conquering. They were also victims of, uh, to the imposition of new cultures that didn't belong to them, to the cultures, not to the, they were different from the original cultures. And one, from the letters I spoke to the, to the, to them, uh, to the Pope and the King, I mentioned that we were going to ask for forgiveness, to offer for our, our um, respect uh, and ask for forgiveness for the atrocities by the authorities of our country and, and in the name of the uh, uh, state of Mexico or the states of Mexico and to ask for forgiveness and amongst other groups to the people of the Yaquis and also to the population that was Chinese, that was repressed and massacred due to discrimination, due to racism, acts that were detestable, that are embarrassing. I don't want for us to stay by just ask, in simply asking for forgiveness and for uh, to saying we're sorry, because I will do that with humility, but I've always felt that the power is humility. And I would even kneel before the representatives of the indigenous Yaquis people. The way I kneel where the people kneel. Oh my gosh. He is just too much. 
Makes me want to cry. No. But no. It's not that, just that. It's so that we can, at the same time, convert 2021 in the act of justice, in the year of justice. And that we start as of now. And I asked Adelfo Regino to ask us to get a, in agreement with the people of the Yaquis people in order to start to work on a plan of justice for the Yaquis people the way they proposed it, dealing with three matters, principal matters, their land, the water, and the development of the, of the township. A plan for that purpose. In September of 21, we can say, we offer you um, our forgi to be forgiven, but also, we are also advancing in that plan to reindicate the Jackie's people. And we're going to start as soon as possible. And we will always take into consideration the opinion of the community and the traditional authorities and with the support of the leaders of the people of the Yaquis that are very intelligent. I was listening to their planning and with all respect, they, the anthropology, the socialists, the, the po politicians, historians, they wish they could be as intelligent as the directors of the Yaquis. It's even, you might even say to some that are so big headed, get over here so you can learn. Take a look at this. <laughs> All right. That was really awesome. I like that one. Jeez. Okay. So this is another dancing uh, video. Let's see that one. The the Maya, the Mayos. Okay. Let me see if we can. Uh, I don't know. It's not giving me the translation on that one. Oh, there. I can translate it there. All right. The Mayan people, okay, are among the most representative of northern Mexico. Although due to discrimination and racism, they are like other ethnic groups losing their customs, traditions, and languages. It is essential to strengthen its cultural greatness. Oh, see? So, wow, that's some weird masks, right? They got the hair in the face. <laughs> So these are their culture, uh, cultural uh, dances. Pretty cool. So, oh wow. So they do this whole thing for the press. Check it out. And they're all yelling, they're chanting, it's an honor to stand with Obrador. Let's go to the next one. Oh my gosh, this lady makes me mad. She says, I can't tolerate your cynicism. Let's, let's translate this stupid lady. She says, why don't you go live with them for five years and see if you learn something? Oh, that's what, uh, what he said to her. Because she said, I can't tolerate your cynicism and your uh, little laugh and your lies and your, uh, I don't know, ineptitude, your uh, lack of ethics, your false images of the people, your false image of being margined and dishonesty, your resentment, 
Um, today, more than ever, I am embarrassed that Lopez is the president of my country. So this is by a lady. Now, this one was very interesting to me, and I wrote her back. <laughs> she says, ternurita, which means like tenderness, tender, like a little tender, sweet, which she's not. Fifi is is the opposition uh, press that um, it stands for. It actually, in the, in the days um, where they killed a president and his brother, the Fifi press were the ones that uh, gouged his eyes out and tortured him in the street. And so uh, being Fifi is not a good thing. So she needs to, those things do not match up. Ternurita means someone who is sweet and tender, like a little tender morsel. She is not. She's got the wrong name. And I'm saying she should work on making a little tender heartedness because she is against everything that is, you know, she's one of those people that was making money off of the uh, uh, stealing from the people. So, and I put, I wrote down, I can see that you uh, still don't understand, um, and you will that you can no longer continue to steal from our people, and it bothers you so much. It would be nice if you had a little ternurita of heart, <laughs> so, so a little tenderness of heart. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, quite an interesting day. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. Have a great heart, and have a great day. Bye.